Hi and welcome to the fifth unit of Let's Learn AI module. This unit is going to be very interesting for all of you. The key learning outcomes of this unit are to understand the problem solving process of AI. We will also try to break down daily life activities into steps and these steps will eventually become the elements of our flowchart. We will try to understand and identify different components of flowchart. We will also compare two algorithms of the same process. Let's begin. To solve any problem, we have to understand the problem statement. We have to identify the various solutions to the problem. We have to try and test all the options to choose the best solution and then finally implement that solution to the problem. Understanding the problem is extremely critical and that's why you should always define your problem statement at the beginning. You can click on the link to go to a presentation about algorithms and flowcharts. This will help you to further understand what algorithms and flowcharts are. You must choose the best solution by comparing their respective algorithms. You have to study the algorithm to accept or reject your solution. You must write a recipe and a step-by-step -step process to make a sandwich. Pseudocode As we know, an algorithm can be defined as a detailed sequence of the steps that provide a solution. Pseudocode is important because it is a simpler version of a programming code. Often, algorithms are presented using pseudocode. We cannot execute pseudocode on a computer. Some common pseudocode notations are input, output, repeat, until, for loop, while loop, if then else loop. Pseudocode is also written using some specific words and characters. You can study about them in the module. You can do a quick activity to identify what the pseudocode is doing. Now, can you write a pseudocode to add three numbers or to tell whether a number is odd or even? Try it out. Searching and sorting algorithms. It is critical for any machine to search and sort values. Search algorithms enable us to be more efficient. They help us to go through lots of data and find the information that we are searching for. There are two major kinds of search algorithms. Sequential search and binary search. You can read about sequential and binary search in the module. Why do we need sorting algorithms? We need a sorting algorithm to put our data in order such as alphabetical or numerical. Two of the most prominent sorting algorithms are bubble sort and bucket sort. Bubble sort compares two sets of data and checks whether they are in order or not. If they are not, it swaps their position and moves to the next set. You can read the content on the module to further understand about bubble sort. Bucket sort, just like the name suggests, separates a list of data into different collections of data called buckets. Bucket sort puts the data into the correct buckets and then buckets that have more than one item of data are sorted using bubble sort. Classification algorithms. AI uses many types of algorithms. Classification algorithms can be somewhat complex. It classifies various objects, data or entity as per their attributes. For example, let's look at animals. The first rule to classify animals can be does it have four legs, yes or no and then we can go ahead with further classifications. Now why don't you try a classification activity? Here is a picture with various stationary items that you can find on your study table right now. Make 3 to 4 rules to classify your stationary items. Pause this video and identify the rules and create your own algorithm. We are at the conclusion of unit 5. In this unit, we have understood that machines use logical reasoning to solve problems. Once we identify the best solution, we take the algorithm of the solution to create 
its pseudo code there are many types of algorithms which we use in ai applications the most simple and common two examples are searching algorithms and sorting algorithms now that we have learned that ai uses algorithms to solve real life problems we will step ahead and actually explore the various programming languages that ai and machines use we will see you in the next module to understand different programming languages thank you like share and subscribe to the atal innovation missions youtube channel thank you for your time tinker from home and happy tinkering